warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. So it's away we go then. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, I would think Diego Godin is key defensively. Uh, his brilliant reading of, of danger is, is his real strength, and his timing of the tackle isn't far behind. And another centre back who will pop up on a set piece and grab a goal for you. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Nigel de Jong positions himself well and cuts it out. Okay. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. Okay. Now it's Griezmann. Looks like a good ball through. Griezmann looking to run onto it. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. Tries a through ball. Lovely bit of skill. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Goal! Atletico Madrid! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Atletico Madrid take the lead, 1-0. Oh, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. They have to stay focused. Now the pass. So they've got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. And it's Griezmann. Looking to get within range. That was a really awful one for the goalkeeper to deal with. Forward it goes. Pereira Carrasco. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Now it's Griezmann. Okay. Torres! What about that from Fernando Torres? And they are disappearing out of sight. What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was.
Atletico Madrid take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here. And the first 45 minutes are up. Atletico Madrid ahead 2-0 and they are looking good. Start the second half. Torres with the ball through. Giovanni dos Santos. Gerard. Atletico Madrid are two up. It's Carrasco. Fernando Torres. Steered out wide. It's Gabby! And oh! And he's there to hoof it away. Atletico Madrid have yet dipped into their subs. Gabby. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Well, they could break here. Torres! This could fall anywhere. It's well blocked, and back out it comes. Good offside that time. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Gets it upfield. So what now? Griezmann. It's a promising ball. And Torres! Looked like 3 0 for sure. Oh, that could so easily have been game over. There would have been no way back from three behind. Oh, that's great stuff. Exactly what he's all about. Well, there's no doubt that the whole team revolves around him now. He leads by example, and he's become the main pivot. Crack and play. Carrasco pumps it upfield. Well read, he sorted that out. Away from immediate danger. There is the final whistle. Atletico Madrid emerge victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve. They were simply the better team. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? When you get free-flowing football out wide with consistent supply into the box, it brings excitement and entertainment to the proceedings. And that was a brilliant display of, of good wing play for me. And, you know, it was a real 